Okay, Mr. Kesh, um, perhaps we could bring in uh, Klaus with his uh, health unit. Would that be okay? Please, Please go, go ahead. Okay, um, Klaus, I think you have a, a demonstration for us there. Yes, thanks. We're ready. Okay, great. Uh, let me stop the screen sharing. You want to share your screen, yeah. I guess? Eh? Um, Cla uh, Rick, before you start with Klaus, uh, did you receive a picture, I don't know if Caroline sent it to you, the number of the German uh, groups in Germany with all the green dots on it? Have you seen that? I have seen that somewhere. Yeah, I if think... If you put that picture, if you find it, put it up. If okay. you can find it quickly. All right. You see the Cash Foundation in Germany is huge. They are, they are mocking themselves where they are, that the nearest person can get in touch with. If you want to join the Cash Foundation in Germany, there is a map, they made a beautiful map, and they asked us, can you ask the rest to do the same? They have mapped themselves, yeah. You see, this is the Cash Foundation groups in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. It's a huge number of them. And these are the ones we know. So, please, um, find out, there is a list of Cash Foundation groups, team supporters, that they start teaching and developing the technology. The first Cash Foundation factory organization is on its way, it will be done in the next couple of weeks. So, this, if you can map up and come into the Cash in German at german.cashfoundation.org, that people around you can develop and deliver these technologies. As I told you, if enough of you does this, then the governments will move, and we've seen German government move in the past few weeks. They understand there is a change, they understand it's to the benefit of the nation, fuel-wise, energy-wise, and the rest. So, when you see this map, try to map the Cash Foundation points and just add to it. People tell you, we are here, can you put us here? So, this way we can map the world. I tell you something very strange with this map is that it shows how big the organization is around the Keshe Foundation, in one country. This map was done by Dominic, one of our future teachers uh, for German language. Thank you very much indeed, thank, thank you Paul. This is the way, if we can do it, we do it for most of the nations that you can get together, these people get together. I've seen somewhere in Germany, it says the Cash Foundation, Iranian group, Germany. So, uh, get together and map up and literally fill in that you can teach your neighbors, you can teach your friends. Let me explain to you what. When we set up, now it's not set up, it's done. I signed the papers again a couple of days ago for it. The Cash Foundation Germany going into manufacturing in two or three different locations. German is not an oil producing country. Germany is not a, is more or less, more partially relies on nuclear fuel. With you producing these coils and the systems which uh, we have produced now is proven, we just received a confirmation from the government, they have to a month of running in a school condition, normal condition in a school, for all the needs of the condition of the school. They have a full accounts for years of the school. They have seen 20% reduction in consumption in one month. We are going for up to 33 and we're testing a new system in the next 48 hours to reduce it to 60%. If you put these systems get the Cash Foundation Manufacturing Germany supported to go into production as fast as possible, Germany can save tens of millions as one of the biggest industrial nations in the world for the fuel which you create by your own hand for your own nation. No nation is more proud of itself than Germany. Support your nation, support your people, reduce the import on the fuel and number of the nuclear reactors in your country, by you supporting, producing your own systems of the new energy. Understand what you're doing. This is not a free energy. This is additional fuel, it's a plasma. Explain to your officials the same. If you put this system on, we will know. Let me give you a tip, you will understand. 
your Chancellor supported the Keshe Foundation when we went for production of the first car Magrav unit in General Motor in Antwerp. We received financial support from Germany, from her office. The only thing went wrong, I made a very big mistake, I went to the hospital, picked the red circle and took it with me into the factory, not knowing underneath he was destroying everything. Your government is fully aware of the work of the Cash Foundation, six years ago, seven years ago. They support you, the way we receive support from Italian government. Because European nations, very few of them have a access to oil or gas. You are an importing nation, but highly industrialist. Make units and give it to yourself. There is nothing wrong with the Keshe Foundation Units Energy. All of them are working, government has supported it. We are receiving one of the biggest orders from a governmental organization, because they tested it. It's going to be mayhem for your manufacturers. Everybody wants it, we have a limitation of production. All those you saw is not working, is a crook, blah, blah, they're not delivering. These are all Red Circle supporters, that's why they had to destroy it, that they could stop the process. Now they're on the run, we know the truth. Destruction by discrediting is over. Now we know it's correct, we we'll release the name of the country, we will show how many thousands a day and weeks we're going to start shipping in the coming weeks. I received the order yesterday. The pens have received the certification of European medical application, it will be released on the net within the next week or two. Once we have to do some other things, after 25th of March, we tell you the reason, you understand why. Please make sure you make within the specification of what we have done, that you can get your certification, very rapidly, the way we done, we are prepared to supply you to the factories, the copy of the certification, that it makes it easy for you to push it through very fast, that your factories get certification, you can help your country. I thank you to German Cash Foundation supporters, you have done a beautiful job, and we see you, you cover the whole of the nation. And in so many ways, the spread of the knowledge of the Keshe Foundation in Germany goes to a man we know, he organizes conferences around Europe. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Schneider, for what you've done, and for what you have done in lectures and support of the Keshe Foundation. Sorry, we could not be in the last session, and I know you invited me for September presentation. I wish I could be with you. Okay, carry on, it's a beautiful picture. Rick, I'd like to share my video, please. Yeah, hello, hello. And, well, and welcome again, here from Austria. Me, Klaus, and especially our Plasma Energy Dream team, which is all already present today. We welcome, warmly, we warmly welcome you. And we are very proud and happy to present you, no, to introduce you a new member of our Plasma and Keshe family. It's our um, uh, health unit, our health device and foods device, we call it Plasma Tree. And we uh, prepared a brief presentation about, uh, there are pictures in it, how we made it, how we produced it. And in the first step, I'd like to share my screen and show you this presentation. This health and food unit we see as a tree. We compared it with a tree, because as soon as we stand between the body parts, we uh, the, the idea came to us that not only the production production of CO2 um, can be compared um, with the leaves, but on but also the whole device, the whole health device, can be compared with a tree. And as we see it, we have the trunk of the tree. This is our housing, which we made of copper. 
We also have the bark of the tree, this, uh, this, the, the, the nano layers which appear as soon as we heat our copper. And we also have the branch and the twigs which uh, are in this case uh, the, the plexiglass holders which holds the coils and the batteries. And these uh, coils are our leaves. Are our leaves. And when we produced it, it came to us that we do not produce a single tree. It came to us that we produce a whole wood. In this case, two trees, a bigger one, a more powerful one, and a um, smaller one, a less powerful one. And when we stand between these body parts of the health unit, Yes, we could say we felt uh, standing in a very powerful wood where the plasma, f uh, plasma flows through our body. And I'd just like to show you briefly in some pictures how we produced our plasma tree. At first, like I said before, we used copper tubes for the housing and we also used copper screws. We tried only to use copper for the whole housing in combination with plexiglass. And you see it's the picture that uh, here we screwed together the, the framework, the, the housing. And in the middle of uh, this picture you see the coating uh, process. We also measured the temperature just because there are a lot of there's a lot of liter literature uh, in in which there is the temperature mentioned, and we just wanted to know at at what temperature the the coating process the really coating process takes place, and we measured about 340 degrees, <clears throat> and we used a special way of coating. We uh, began at the giving part uh, on which the plasma batteries are mounted um, at the bottom and coated the whole housing up and uh, went then to the, uh, the the taking parts to the other body part and uh, we coated it with the gas from the top to the bottom. So this was just a feeling because there is a plasma flow um, um, uh, between the, of course, between and and the giving and the taking part and why the the reason why we coded this it this way is because we used copper and we um, are already used to coat copper and we just tried to coat copper tubes or coils and it worked very well. We just had to clean them. Uh, the first try, um, the, the, the nano layers uh, uh, fell off a day after, but uh, only because um, there was a dirt or a special uh, layer on the tubes. And then we cleaned it and uh, the coating process was perfect for us. We tried to invent or produce a modular system which uh, means that we uh, try to design our um, health unit in this way that we can uh, switch or replace the coils or the batteries very easily or that we can adjust the height of, of the of the hanged in um, plexiglass holders. So on the left side you see uh, some uh, some stages of the giving part of the health unit and you see these connectors. Um, we we use these connectors to connect the single modular uh, parts. Um, but we also, of course, we also nanocoded these connectors, um, including the isolation. And we let them nanocode very long um, until we were sure that the nanocoding uh, is also inside uh, under the isolation. At the right side, you can see the the taking part. Also, we used the the connectors, and you can also see the copper screws, which we <clears throat> also used to hang in the plexiglass holder in order to replace them or in order to uh, to adjust the height of of the coils. At the right side, you see our salt container. Um, 
in which there is a um, uh, hangs a, a coil a, a coated coil uh, with a um, um, plastic around it everything we used at the whole device is nano coated even even the the um, uh, the, the hangers, the tubes, even uh, even if, if it's plastic, uh, we nano coated everything. So, and these were some pictures now, and now I would like to show you live uh, with the help help of Sonia um, how this device looks like. I just switch. So, Sonia, could you please? come with the camera <clears throat> so Sonia just moves to the device now <clears throat> which stands behind me and at first you can see just the later connectors between the modules it's sharp okay get a little rough yeah Okay, you see the plasma batteries and the coils behind. You also see the dirt plexiglass. That's that was a bit of adventure for us because we coated, nano coated the plexiglass, and um, um, every time we we used our cameras and pictures, we we wanted to clean it, but uh, uh, we um, we was a bit afraid and still didn't know um, how much we then also removed the uh, the the nano layers so uh, that's why they look a bit dirty you see connector now and also the connection between the coils and plasma batteries um, we used in in this device not six but we used on um, at one side ten double coils and um, just show the connection between the two sides and einfach von von vorne rüber and we connected then the giving and the taking part with a copper coil and a and a isolated nano coated uh, plastic tube and you see here now the taking part there are no plasma batteries mounted but there is also this modular system which connects the single plexiglass holder with each other and Sonia goes down here now from from the top coils to the bottom and shows you then the salt container which stands at the floor at the bottom of the taking part of our plasma tree which is here At the whole device, we only used CO2 sink GANs. Yeah, and if you just come to me, we'll show you now the helmet, which we produced. Then autofocus, is it sharp? Oh no, it's sharp now. Tracy. I mean the containers in which uh, the coils are inside um, are a bit bigger than the ones um, uh, were produced at the Cash Foundation Philippine. Um, the question is which is the the right side, the the, the right diameter diameter of 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 the of the coil sets the helmet. Um, concerning the windings, we use the same amount of windings as uh, in all the others. 
and we use the uh, 0 0.75 square meter um, cable and Sonia just tells me to switch the cameras okay and you should see me now in front of the device here yeah? I can put this helmet now on my head and I just want to show you how we how our experience till now is how, how you can go into the device it looks a bit crazy before you go any further yes. this is not crazy after I made hundreds of these helmets over the past 15 okay. years and I've seen it changing life it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I just wanted, beautiful. I just wanted to add it. It looks a bit crazy, but it feels wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we have done the same thing as you do. I still have people can tell you. We, I still carry some of these helmets in the lab in Italy. They're lifesavers. Okay, and I didn't mention till now. We we mounted here um, a nano-coated plexiglass just for people not to touch the coils. We didn't mount it, but only here for presentation, not on, at, at the other side. There are two protection plexiglass plates at the giving and the, the taking part. And if you go in the device with the helmet on you, we also mounted some, uh, some hangers um, uh, to hold because um, it's a special atmos atmosphere you enter in here and uh, if you uh, feel a bit into into the plasma tree you you can feel the breath of it and uh, you begin uh, breathing like the plasma tree which which uh, says in other words that uh, it came to me for instance when I breathe in I just uh, uh, say give me everything I need and if I breathe out I just say take away or I take away give away everything um, I don't need anymore and even if you measure the device as the multimeter uh, you can see um, how the device breathes in in terms of going up with the voltage very slowly to uh, three four uh, hundred uh, millivolt and then it goes down again very slowly and up again very slowly so you you really feel that this entity is alive and breathes and uh, it's you feel like you stand in a, really in a very powerful uh, wood um, surrounded by 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 two plasma trees which communicate with each other and um, as you can see above me we mounted um, uh, another copper coil in order uh, to, to fix the whole system a bit and uh, we also made uh, the distance um, uh, variable so we can, we can uh, plug this uh, copper coil in in different stages uh, in five centimeter steps and it's also possible to uh, give a chair uh, between these two uh, trees for um, people who like uh, who just can sit or who who um, uh, just want to sit and yeah um, I mean this is live now so I'd, I'd like to stay in there but um, we'll we'll go on uh, now maybe um, with the presentation because the thing is a member of our our family I could say is our first volunteer and she can also I, has can I, yeah can I tell you something I congratulate you it's beautiful what you've Thanks a lot. <laughs> this is um, the system which are built in pieces now we see it in done by number of people and I, I congratulate you and it's beautiful 
when you see this working, because I can teach you more how to use it, we can put people in there with cancer and walk away without cancer. We can put people in there with hunger and walk without any hunger. And it all takes a few seconds, not more. It's beautiful, thank you very much. Thank you, you're welcome. It's a project of many people together here. I just wanted to, to tell you that we have a volunteer member of, of our family which likes to, I mean we all tested it already, but which likes uh, to test it. And um, I just want to describe you what the, the illness of the person is. She has she has a undefinable cerebral tumor right side of head since 10 years and there is also I can read this now here there is there is also at the, her left side arm and legs a spastic hemiparese and uh, she didn't use uh, chemotherapy till now and uh, the doctors never found the cancer cell but um, there is this this uh, tumor in her head and this uh, spastic hemiparese and we asked her and she said please show a video of me we really asked her it's okay for her for her it's just for for 10 seconds um, I would like uh, to show you a video of her and uh, we will document this case and just start it, yeah. Klaus, can you adjust your mic just a little bit down, please? Thank you. So this was a short video. She asked me us to show this because she's she was with us from the first day, from the first second of, of building of the device. And she is looking forward going into our plasma wood. Well, everything we did like we did at the Beast Candles and the other products we we uh, document at Plasma Energy Org. There is nothing on the site today because we finished yesterday. Just can I ask you something, please, yeah. for not to creating division? Can you link this your site to the German at CashFoundation.org, please? Trying to find you, remembering is very difficult. We're trying to bring everything under one roof. Use the Cash Foundation german.keshfoundation.org to link these on the Cash Foundation website. Then people can find you very easy. Yes, we are ready, we are ready in contact. Yes, yes and, 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 and I'll, I make sure that it will be translated to Spanish also uh, until this weekend. Yeah, this, the, these kind of teachings you come has to be linked that the rest of humanity can benefit by it. Uh, to go and find the plasma engineer energy.org somewhere and plasma something else as is part of the work of the development of the cash foundation worldwide as a family join it to the german dot cash foundation or austrian dot cash foundation dot org and um, put it on the that banner that uh, uh, we can give a full exposure to it this unit is very similar to what is made in the uh, Philippines and I know a number of other people are doing it. So, it's a fantastic job, it's beautiful what you've done, but there is facilities behind the Cash Foundation to allow you to do this. All the platforms are built. Instead of opening division and division, keep your site, no problem, but link to the Cash Foundation and we can bring people straight away to your website. Okay. Mr. Keshe, uh, we also um, want to use a lot of the information from uh, the, the people around the world to keep the information on the Keshe Foundation site updated. So, 
we get a lot of the information that we find around the world to uh, to keep that updated on the new site. As as I said this morning, I don't know if you heard it or not. That we've been told that twenty five thousand cash foundation websites only in China is huge. Klaus, we have a lot of breathing in your mic. Can you change it, please? So, uh, uh, the, please connect it to the Cash Foundation, Austria at uh, Austria dot Cash Foundation dot org. That we can put it as a blueprint. This has to be as part of the blueprint uh, to go on. That people can make it. This is the first time we see it. You've done such a detailed work, and we follow the the testimonial as you report with your person. And I can tell you in a way how to do it properly. I see her hand. Um, you how you can't use the helmet as it is. You have to use it in a specific way to open those hands. The uh, epileptic uh, attacks, as you tell us, she carries. This can be stopped within a matter of two to three months. But you have to do it the proper way, uh, properly done, not just because you build a unit. And um, we should see, according to the research we're receiving from China, uh, a large reduction in the tumor. So this is where plans should be, or this is what you got to watch. The fingers to open up, the body to go straight, the uh, the reduction in the seizures come very rapidly when you do the body work. Uh, when she looks at me, uh, facing me, it's her left hand which is paralyzed. Yes. So you should not touch anything on the left hemisphere of the brain. None of your coils in that hemisphere should be switched on. You have to remove any activity of the core from that side, if you want to see performance. Okay. Because it's the left side, so it's on the right side of the brain which is operating it. Um, so when you do this, you have to make your helmet functionable, that you can remove coils, not just because it's not connected. These coils, once they're set up, they are, they operate. When you make these systems, that you've done is absolutely gorgeous. I I saw my own work over 15 years, but I put this helmet on the children who could not talk, could not walk, and I've seen them changing their lives. This is what you've done. But please understand to remove the coils on the same side as there is paralysis from your reactor, from your helmet, and make sure there is only you see, the arm and the hand is involved. You only need the reactors which are near the ear and they go to the center of the head. The front and the back has to be removed. You don't okay. need to cause in that area. Because when you Mr. do Cash, this... Can I help if, the, if he brings up a picture of the helmet and you can use the annotate? Yes, yes please. If you can bring the helmet up, we teach, we can go. It's beautiful what you've done. So let's just not show it. Let's show how it's used and what is the benefit of it. If you have this picture as it is there, I'll go and I'll show you what it is. You see, if I stand, the paralysis is, I'm looking at the paralysis to be on this side. So the only unit you need to work with is these units. You see, it's the hand which is twisted. I'll draw here. In the brain hemisphere, half hemisphere, your hand comes on the top and it goes down here to your fingers. You see a lot of deformity with the finger. So this coil, I'm going to change color that you can see it. Oh, it's beautiful what you've done. It brings so much pleasure. You need this core to be filled up. You need this core to be filled up. You don't need any others. This has to be at half power. And this you don't need at all. You take, you discharge these. There should be no cores in this to start with. What you do, you allow the neurosystem in the part of the brain, which is to do with hand and arm, which is this section of the brain, to come into operation very, very little. The only thing you can do 
is to put this one here. I done this and it works very nicely. Let me get the number. You, this number four here, you see the green? Yes. You put a coil in this one, which you create a flow and you start repairing the drain. You need the opposite face that the flow can go through. Empty the other cores, do not use cores in any of them, because the brain in this part at this moment is to change the hand. Should, Mr. Kesh, should we empty it or is it also possible just not to connect them? No, no, your cores are active now. Yeah, okay, just once you, once you nano coated, yeah, Once you nano coated the system, you are active. Yeah. You can't just leave it. You just make your system in a way that you can take a cup, put a cup back in, and um, I wish I was in this in uh, Balletta, I would have opened some of my helmets, you would have seen it. It's very similar to this, but internally embedded. Then, only thing, look for the problem. The problem is the spine. If you put a full picture of her, is the spinal cord because of the pressure on the brain. So, what you need to do, see if you can open these first. Okay. You've got to see if the hand opens up, that's the target. There is a possibility the seizures are irrelevant. The seizures she has is epileptic seizures, is because so much information is created, but the tumor sits on it, and those information gets released in one batch. So the body stops sending information. Once you reduce the size of the tumor, the seizure stops. And uh, you can see the size reduction. You can do two choices. You can run these two, one and two, with four, for about, let's say, a week, two weeks, to see if you get the hand moving. If the hand does not move, then you put all, where is the, where is the exact position of the tumor, you have to find out. And you create a flow, which is draining it. So, what does the draining means? Is you take from it. You only connect your gravitational rings, not your magnetical rings. Okay. On either side, you only connect. So what it means, you take energy away from the cell which you don't want. The brain decides everything else is okay, where there is a slight difference, which is a tumor, it literally you empty it out. The only way you can empty a tumor is when you put two facing gravitational rings in operation. Gravitation means taking. So, when you take, you take energy from the cells of the tumor, and then you end up with a tumor which is very, it gets dissolved in the brain, in the liquid of the structure of where it is, and then you're going to be left with the center. Then, the center will change the composition of the GANs on the coils. Because Did you want to use the whiteboard, Mr. Cash, to illustrate? No, 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 it's okay. okay, we just leave it as it is. So, just because you made the unit, does not mean you need to use the body unit. The deformity on the, brain, on the body is all to do with the structure of the pressure of the tumor on the brain. With this case, you do not need the body's unit. Okay. At all. Do not touch the body unit, because this is not what you're looking for. Carry on. Mr. Kesh, I have a question. Vivek here from Singapore. Uh, the coil that you marked with the small X next to number one, you said uh, put half, yes. you said put a half uh, the, the, the strength on that. How do you put the half the strength on that? Sorry about that, I had to answer the phone. Can you repeat again, please? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sir. Uh, the, there's a coil next to number one, uh, where you have marked, uh, with a small X. You said use half strength on that. How do you put half strength on that? You control, you should build the system with your plasma systems, with your batteries. In, uh, in my systems, I use different size magnets of different strength. You can't do this. Here, with the plasma, you create 
batteries, when you make your plasma batteries, the number of turns decides the power in most of the cases. The, the, how the, you, you change, test your batteries, see how it's double, how it's single, or use four batteries for the left and two batteries for the right. Okay, so it, it actually comes in, in terms of how you, how the battery itself is connected, number of turns, and how many batteries are connected in uh, yeah, there parallel are different ways each of other. Controlling. Yes, there are different ways of controlling the power. Okay, okay thank so, you, sir. You're welcome. So you use, let's say, two for the one and two, and on the four, you just use one battery. So, the, but it, if it has to be the same kind of batteries you made in the same batch, which the four, being stronger on a plasmatic condition is trying to feed the weaker one, which is four. You create a transfer flow of the plasma. Uh, so you can do it two ways. You can go for leaving all the helmets all open, but you have to see where the tumor is, target the tumor. For the hand, you need to use those three, because even when the tumor goes, that part of the brain is damaged, you have to rebuild the cells. This is very important. You got to see this, the, the versatility you have is, bring the MRI up, let's have a look at the MRI of the tumor. Then you decide which one affects it, you make a decision. You're going to reduce the tumor, or you're going to do the building of the arm after tumor, or you do it before, You uh, once you start activating the arm, the tumor gets activated itself to answer. It's different ways of literally setting this thing up, but where the arm is like a stroke, this is what you need to create. The twist in the body and the brain, and what do you call it, the posture, this automatically the body will go back up. Do not use at this moment your body unit, you don't need it. This is what I always explain, find the source of the problem, not clean up the side effects, or the, the what do you call it, the, what you see, the end product. Here, all that is to do with the tumor in the brain, but at the same time, there are two ways. You can activate the arm, and that activation will force the reduction in the tumor, or you do it the other way, you look at the tumor itself, where it is, and you decide which one of the, the 12 cores you want to activate, or 10 you have. You have to target, it's not just how you build the helmet, I'm going to run everything. You understand? There is a yes. way you can use this helmet in a specific way, you have to reposition at one core in a specific place, and within minutes you can bring anybody out of coma. This helmet, the way you've done it, in a specific condition, used, you can wake anybody out of coma. People who've been 10 years in coma, give me this system, within 24 hours, I'll give you a live person. But you got to know what you're doing. So, uh, just because you built it, and they've got holes in it, doesn't mean you got, you got to use it. You understand? So, yes. because you're there, you're doing it. You see, when you put it on your head now, it's no problem because there is no problem in your head. All the energies transfer, if it's needed, they take. You understand? Yeah. But when you're dealing with tumors, when you're dealing with cancer, when you're dealing with epilepsy, understand the reason. Spend an hour or two, study the case, in reality what it is, not what you want it to be, because you made the system, you got to use it. Decide, which configuration you're using, understand the connection between the different part of the body, uh, why it's there, which section is there, very easy, go on the internet, find out the shape, this is the tumor here, where, which elements of the physicality is connected to this part, what does it touch? You understand? Yeah, understand. And then, take a next step, because um, this is a very big bad habit, is that I built it, I have to use it. Mm. Now, you built it, it's absolutely beautiful what you've done. No shadow, it's the same as the one we've seen with uh, uh, Renan. But now you have to become selective, which cup you're going to leave inside, which cup you're going to take out. Yeah. Yeah? 
Mm -hmm. And if you're going to use the gravitational ring, or you're going to use magnetical ring. If you're yeah, going to bring stability, pardon? Magnetical is always the giving and the gravitational the taking part. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But for the brain, majority of the time, you need the gravitational. Okay. If it's a tumor, you have to take away. If it's epilepsy, epilepsy is, as I explained before, when you see a body shaking and the convulsion and the rest, this is nothing to do with what goes on. The, 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 this is the this is the problem in the world of medicine. We look at what what is the what is the end products and we produce medicine for it. But in fact, epilepsy is nothing but a switching and switching off, as I explained many times. The brain there is a pressure on it. Arm legs wants to move. The information doesn't go to the arm and leg, which is supposed to move, as you see, is twisted. So that information is released in mass. What it is. Let me explain to you how exactly this case is. The tumor is sitting on the brain. We'll find out where it is. Most probably it's putting pressure on the hand and arm. The arm and the fingers are trying to get rid of this pressure. This is in, in what is there, the pain. So it's producing a lot of information to send to the different organs of the body to create uh, sedatives or send it to the right place that the pain is not there. But because of the, the way a child sitting, a man sitting on a child, the tumor sitting on the brain, the information is produced. It finds a shortcut, it goes to a specific point of the brain, and as the brain wants to release the information, whatever it was to do in the arm is not going anywhere, the brain has a capacity of, as I always say, like so one megabyte of information per second to go through it, but three megabytes comes. So, when it comes to one megabyte, point one, the switch comes on. So, the information is gone, but information from the brain is taxi destinated. It means it goes to the specific point. When you get a needle in your foot, <clears throat> you don't shake your hand, because the information goes that is the foot where it is. But when the information released in this condition at one megabyte, it has no characteristics, so it goes anywhere it can go. So what it is, information comes up moving your foot from the nail and not moving your hand, information has no base, everything moves. Then you see the, the what do you call it, the stupid shaking of the body. Yeah. And then it opens for the second time, it releases another one megabyte. So now you see another shake of uh, the body. It opens for the third time to release the last uh, three megabytes. And then when there is no more information, the, the shake is called, we call it epilepsy. So, the cause of the shake is the tumor which is sitting on the, um, on the hand, on the arms. So, the source of the information, producing information that leads to epilepsy, sits in that seat of the tumor, and is for the arm. Arm is in a lot of pain, but body is creating sensitive for it, you don't feel it, it has nowhere to go, it releases it, you see that the plebs. It takes sometimes two days to build up to three megabytes to release, then you see it. And you say the woman has the epileptic attack every three days, every few days. Whenever it reaches a point, it releases it, so it goes. So go to the essence of the problem, not just to make a machine to put them in. Can we see the MRI of this, please? You must have an MRI if there is a tumor. Uh, yes, you can see, but uh, I didn't prepare it. So you can't start nothing with the lady. You have no authority to do, you have no rights. Um, what, what did you mean? Um, I, you I cannot got... touch. You cannot yeah. touch the lady if yeah. you do not know how the tumor has to be handled. If you get the MRI, bring it up, don't use it till we see it, that is correctly done. Yes. Okay. And yeah. then together we all learn. Okay, um, okay. Sandra uh, just told me we got this uh, MRI. Put so it on the screen, see. let's have a look. Yes, that's we no, all we, we don't have it scanned in. Has this elektronisch? Kannst du was hinten? If it's uh, on a desk, we should be able to see it. Yeah, um, it takes just a minute. No problem, we have all the time you've done such a beautiful okay. job. We wait. Take a picture. 
Okay. Mr. Kescher, I have to inform you, yes, Rainer, I have to inform you that Klaus is, is part of our team now. He, he was fed and, and he is a part of our team now, of our team just people. Thank you very much. We need a man of science. This is a new science to all who understand it, they can teach it. But we have to teach correctly. <clears throat> it has to be done. I've seen uh, a couple are making uh, uh, pens in Holland, and they are not selling in the name of Cash Foundation, but they are using our concept, our technology. They use every banners of the Cash Foundation, they give a lot of talk about me, but couple, whoever you are, I thank you for teaching, but the pens you are making are not correct. And you don't, you cannot sell products on the internet if you have not certified yourself. You can cause yourself problems. A lot of you have started making these pens and you put it on the net that other people can buy it. We sell it, we have certified it. It took us, I think it cost us about 12,000 euro uh, to do the trial certification and then we had to pay thousands more to get it done correctly. So it costs money just because you're making a pen and you go and sell it. Anything you sell, please try to get it certified because I've seen fake, uh, what do you call it, powders put in the, uh, in the bag and sold as a GANS powder, is good for your brain and the others, you're causing a lot of problem for yourself, not us, what we call cowboys. Have you managed to get the picture? Just a moment, we make a picture with our mobile phone and okay. try to put it in. Yeah, no problem, go back on your stand, you showed us a beautiful stand. Can we look at your stand till you get the video ready? Yeah. The stand you made behind you is done perfectly. When you stand inside it, you have to decide which organ it is, if it's again cancer, if it's energy to give, if you are giving from magnetical or you are taking from gravitational. You understand? So, yeah. because you made the coils, I said that to uh, Renan as well, make a connection for coil, each coil, magnetical separate, gravitational separate. Okay. Even though inside your coil, there is a double coil, it's gravitational magnetical. But when you put it as a transportation across, that plasma inside counts. So, it's, it's a bit dark, you have to move your camera to the right a little bit, because it's very dark, we don't see anything. Can you tell Yeah, that's perfect, that's beautiful. Okay. So, try to, this, what are you going to do with this? Do you have somebody who knows how to use it? It's just us. <laughs> I give you, I give you an offer, I don't think you can refuse. Make me another one. Separate okay. It. I'll pay you for it, or you can donate it to the foundation. And we give you the address of the hospital where we are opening the Keshe Foundation Institute Hospital. Okay. And we put it in a very good use. I don't have time to build these things anymore. It's, it's just, I, I'm, I don't make systems anymore. But if you can make one which you can control every coil, connect, okay. it's not a control, you connect, you can connect batteries together, it's just a panel, you just pin them in, everything has to be nano-coated. We have, we can test this here, uh, in the hospital, which is going to announce hopefully to, to be open up in collaboration with government, that we can, people just, just come in, it costs nothing, but they walk away with no cancer, they walk away with no, uh, what do you call it, um, fibromyalgia, they walk away with no Alzheimer's. You've done a beautiful job. This, this looks very, what do you call it, uh, uh, like 1960s and 50s with electronics which came out. <laughs> but what you see that I've done now is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Keshe. Absolutely gorgeous what you have achieved. And in such a short time, it's such a beautiful technology and knowledge. Um, we, Mr. Keshe, we managed to get it on. On, on a mobile phone now, I will switch a camera. Okay, please. So, can you see this? Where is the tumor? So, wait a bit. So, Sonia, 
again, um, where is the tumor? The white one. Yeah, but which side is the left and which side is the right? Which I side, Sonia? Which side is the left side? Oh, sorry. Which side fits into the brain? This is the right side and this is the left side. So if you put her is the side where we see, you see exactly what I told you on the machine? Yeah. Where, where that white patch is, is where the connection of the arm and the where fingers are. So we are precisely right where right. I, if you bring the picture of the helmet and you see where I told you, is in that so. point. So what you need to do, you can do two things. You can, um, you don't need, the right side system, you have not to put anything in it because the tumor has nothing to do with the right side. Okay. You have to create a gravitational on on the same two system you have you know the number one and two and you need um, let's see what we can do with this shall i just uh, bring the picture can of the helmet bring the picture of the helmet because this can be done totally different way bring the helmet next to it or bring the helmet up Okay, just let's see, can we take the helmet to the side? You see, now when you see the, the position of the helmet and the tumor, you don't want to transfer energy across to the other side. Okay. What, what you can do is, uh, Got to. Yeah, I can bring in the picture. You can bring the picture on top of it if you can. Yeah, okay. Just a moment, please. If it's transparent, we can do it. So what, we, what, what is need to be done is not to, tr to cross the energy of the tumor across the brain. Uh, with the arm, you can do it when it's there because it takes a fingerprint across of the energy. Yeah, is I got it. So just a moment. Print. Share screen. Well, it's going to be the other way around now. You got to rotate it. The tumor moved. Okay, I will rotate it soon, just a moment. Can you ask the lady is with you, yes? Um, no, she's not with us now. How, when did this start? When had this begun? 2005. Was she heavy user of mobile phone? Sie viel telefoniert. Not much, says her mother. Sonia, is, come on, Marcus. Um, did, she, just, did she yeah. get hit on the head? Was she had a fall? Had she had an am Kopf uh, einen Unfall gehabt oder? No, no, she did not. Is this the right side? Yeah. This is rechts, yeah. and this is also rechts. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, but Mr. Cash, uh, the the helmet, um, as you can see, is is the back end um, at the bottom. So the right, it's it's like if you would have it on your head. And uh, your nose and your eyes are uh, in front of you. No, which way is she facing me? Or if if it, the, no. the skull is there. She's looking away to the top. Yeah? So, so is as it really is. So these two pictures um, are right positioned now. They fit together. Okay, no problem. So now we see. You see the helmet is the other way. This, uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Now Before it was the other way around. The other way around. Okay. Now what you need to do. That's why I said you want to do a thing. You're gonna do it. Okay. Now we have. 
this brain tumor here, and this is the matching area you have to handle. Yes. But uh, there is a lot of indication in this tumor where the problem is, how it is. This looks very much like a mobile phone tumor. We see a lot of this. Could you ask what was she using? Is it the same telephone number? It's don't mention the name, but uh, is it a Korean made telephone? Weißt du noch das Telefon, das Or is it made a phone made in Sweden? Or is it made in mm -hmm. Well we, we don't know but we can find out. Yeah, find out because we're running a case like this already with okay. the condition. It's not malignant, it's not cancer, they don't see it. Um, mm -hmm. This could be possibly due to the... When was the first sign of this uh, condition? Wann war das erste Anzeichen? Yeah, 2005. You don't want anything in this coils. That's for sure. Otherwise. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see this here, if I change. This is where the hands and arm goes in the brain. So that's why we see the problems with the hands and fingers. This is somewhere around the ear, this area. Okay. It sits yeah. very on the top. It sits very yes, the yes, this is right, yes. Yeah, this is very much on the top because you can see the cuts in the growth. In the so, motoric part. The motoric part. Yeah, that's not a problem. It's it's a, it's a physical part. When we get a stroke, the energy of the heart comes up here and it damages these. That's why we see paralysis. So there's, we understand this. So what you got to do is... Um, I can't do this in your hand. Um, so what we need to do to, is to re reduce this. You have this one here, which is sitting on top of it. Yeah? Yes. You have this one in its depth sits on the side of it here. Yes. Um, you have this one, which is on this angle here. And this you don't need. You have to empty this one. This has to be emptied totally. This has to be emptied. Wait, this, uh, this one, okay, yes. Yeah. Number four and five, you have to take your thing out. Empty. All this you have to take empty, yeah. yeah. So now we got to play with this. The play with this is we can do it two way. The tumor is on the surface on the top. Okay. We have two yes, choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can create a um, gravitational here to suck into it, and we can do a gravitational here to suck it up. And this seems to be the best. Then we don't allow the tumor to spread anywhere. We literally deplete it. Okay? Okay. So you put a gravitational ring on this. You still hold your magnetical, but you connect the, your gravitational to the system. When we say you don't use gravitational, you only use the magnetical, in these units you keep the double core and the double core on top of each other, you don't take it out. You just connect into your gravity as it goes in, or you connect to gravity as it comes out, so you let it come out. Or you connect your magnetical out to a sink. Okay. okay. So, if you connect in this your magnetical into the sink, so you're sucking out. So it forces the fields to come in and come up. So you bury the energy in your sink. Yeah. Okay? So you got to connect, a, mm, let's say, two batteries here and two batteries here, and connect one battery here. I'm going to do it in fingers so that you can see. Yes, here you connect I can two see. batteries. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Here you connect one battery. Yeah. In this one, you connect to the magnetical, yeah? Okay. And here, you connect to the gravitational. Okay. 
If you connect to the gravitational, it has to go through the thing, it goes through the magnetical, comes through the gravitation of this, and it goes in the sink. You get rid of the energy in the sink. So, what you're doing, you have a K2 here, which are connected to the magnetical, to magnetical, and you have one which is connected, the magnetical, to the sink. You connect your batteries to gravitationals. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, understood. And then the field will flow this way. It goes through the, it goes through the tumor. Mm -hmm. It goes through the tumor. And because of the, the smallest sink here, it has only one way to go, because it goes through the sink. Yeah. And then you take energy away from it. This is one of the ways to do it. The other way, if you didn't have the coils, you do the way I do, I literally take pieces and pieces of this. You have to confine and not move the tumor. Okay. One of the first things you see is the lack of uh, epileptic attacks. Because uh, the pressure will go off the nerve of the, uh, what do you call, the arm and fingers here. And as the pressure goes, normal information goes through the arm. The hand opens, the arm opens. This, what we see here, in this part, it shows a deformity in the spinal cord. This side here goes with the arms, because down here is your upper arm going down inside, and this is your spinal cord, because your leg comes through the same, through your spinal cord, the other part of the body comes through the spinal cord. And this pressure on this side is causing the problem on the spinal cord, that's why you see the twist in the body. The problem with this is, if she gets it, because the brain, as it reduces the weight or from it, the brain is growing up, is blowing it back up to its normal shape, you're going to have some headaches, or you could have a muscle ache. If you get a headache and muscle ache, this shows a good sign. But uh, don't use anything else, you don't need a body unit, you don't need anything. Try this, the, this procedure I told you, we have looked at it in two weeks' time, you see, if she changes in position, in posture, or in the epileptic attack, okay. and then get it sorted out. But take everything out, and she doesn't need your upright unit. Okay, just the helmet. Just the helmet, those yep. three for the time being. You have mm -hmm. to play with it till you get it right. These cannot do any damage, because it's just a flow of plasma. If you don't need it, you don't take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of plasma, it just brings it out. There's another way you can do it, is deciding yourself, you have to decide. Please ask a doctor to supervise with you. Don't do this yeah. on your own. You mm -hmm. need a medical doctor who is part of the Keshe Foundation. I have a doctor who can supervise you directly from Middle East, one of the well-known doctors. Uh, I can bring him in to support you. To explain oh, thanks you. a lot. Okay, or we have doctors in Cash Foundation Europe, in Germany, we have a couple of good doctors, and uh, we have a very nice doctor in Belgium, who's well trained to handle these machines. So, you can ask them to support, don't touch it till you have a full supervision, because they give you a lot of tips, but they understand the technology can do it. And then what you got to do, you design the procedure, is that you connect this to the magnetical, and you connect this to magnetical too. Yeah, you put three magnetical in the sink. So, what happened, the, as you're sinking it, or you connect the energy to go somewhere else, the energy has to come from the tumor, and they drain the tumor. This is one of the safest way of doing it as well. You don't create a flow to go anywhere, you just drain it. This process takes a little bit longer, but it's very effective, I've done it before. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Keshe, there's uh, several people have questions about this uh, um, use of the saltwater pool, I guess it's called, as a sink. Can you explain a bit about that? Uh, Wernie, are you there? Wernie. He's usually around. Can you see him to promote him? Rene, are you there? Renan, are you there? I'm here. 
I see Bernie's in the in the chat here. I see Bernie's in the chat. I'm not sure if he's uh, responding right now. Yes, sir. Hi, Renan. Is Renan not? Yes. Is Renan uh, about that? We can explain to us about the sink. Uh, he just went a while for uh, he bought something for an errand, and he'll be coming back right away. Okay, when he comes, we'll explain it to you because Bernie understands this very well, and he can explain to you. Okay, so thank you very much for this. Carry on showing, carry on explaining to us. You made a beautiful system, but if we go back, if we show your stand uh, all together, don't yes. do anything till you have a a doctor on board with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Can we look at your stand, please? You see, the stand is the same. If you are have, let's say you are sorting out a kidney problem. You don't need the top two layers. You position the the middle of the five on the left hand side in a position that what you want to do. You don't connect everything. You have to get out of this habit of I made it, I have to use it. Wieder rüber, das wieder rüber. Yeah. Zu dunkel. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more to the right. Yeah, we see it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you have to start educating yourself how to use these systems. Um, you target it if it's the long you use the top four to the line of the diaphragm. And then you have to decide if it's a cancer or you're just giving it the energy. If it's an energy, has to be balanced between all four. If you're connecting, let's say, the top two cores here, I'm going to use my, I don't have any right here, I cannot touch it. Do you see it? No. You don't. I can. Yeah. I can take a picture for annotation. Right. If you look at the top two, the top two uh, trays, which is four cores on the left and the four cores on the right, have to be connected exactly to the same power supply according to the ratio. So, if you're connecting each coil on the left to two, you connect the one on the right to one, which you create a gradient of the flow of the energy. that it goes through the body, this information carrier it goes. Then you have to decide if you're connecting both to the magnetical or gravitational. Are you emptying or are you adding? So, just you made it. It's just the beginning of the use, how to use it. And as I said, just because you made it doesn't have to be used. You, you use it in part according to what is needed. If you are doing an arm and a leg, you don't need any of the top. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, sorry about that. The uh, Rick uh, uh, Benjamin is in the background from Ghana. When we finish with this, they have collected all their data. They want to come back in, and I've been told the voice of the Atomic Energy Authority of the Ghana could be online with us after this. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. So yeah. Uh, our present day presentation just uh, finished. Yes, um, we would like to we would like to build a unit for you and to improve it. Yes, and that's fantastic. You bring it to one of the most advanced hospitals in the space technology. We're setting it up. I'm sure we will see different versions of this when we go to China uh, with the Chinese group, and we bring it in. We try to have a live sessions in China whenever we are in public sessions. And I'm sure we'll see these used there because they are reporting different kind of things uh, in respect to tumors. This is a marvelous team you made. It's, ah, thank you to your team. This is absolutely Thanks a lot. <laughs> this is Try to get yourself a doctor, medical doctor in Germany, one or two of them. We know we can ask them, but it depends where you are in Austria. I don't know any doctors in Austria who are there. If you are a doctor in Austria, you want to join us to test, uh, we can help you ask uh, Kevin Davina. Maybe he has somebody in that area because he's in Austria with you. And uh, uh, we'll see what we can do. We we already asked one, and he will visit us in the next day. So maybe we already got got one, but he he has to see it for himself and has explains to decide. The science, yeah, explains knowledge to them, and how it's done. Try to separate each coil, each ring. Yeah. Uh, in a different panel. Just put a panel, you can plug it in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then you can choose how to connect. What is not needed for kidney, you don't need to touch the lung and the heart, you just dismiss the two 
top, top trays, you just don't connect it, or you remove the panel altogether, that you concentrate only on the liver. Try to make your okay. panels detachable, you just take it out and put it back in, and you can connect it. Okay. It's fantastic. This is, this is one of the, I have a lot of chairs and things like this, but it's nice to see it in this way. It's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. Again. Um, um, Mr. Keshe, there, there is one last question of our group, uh, because we made a, a professional video um, out of it, uh, also out of the production, and uh, cameraman and cutter asked if it would be possible that you could say in one or two sentences how the, the body part of the device works, uh, and if it's okay that we can use this in our in our video. Go on the Zoom, we do it properly. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you've done Thanks a lot. The Zoom, you mm. asked to Paul, and he'll organize it, we do a, um, what you call a Zoom conference. And okay. We do the step by step that we put it fitted in there, you don't need to adjust it. Okay. Yes, Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Congratulations to you. Thanks. I give it Thanks. to my group. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We hopefully, we have everyone from every culture will go through this very soon, whatever one you make for the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of, there we are. <laughs> some of us are, are right? here and, <laughs> and also the dogs. Uh, <laughs> the dogs are there we, too. We, we thank you for your information and um, we'll build a um, you you uh, have entered a world of science which needs uh, people of the science of health that can help you. And it's okay. beautiful what you've done. Thanks a lot. Thank you indeed. And Thank we... you for you doing it. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Um, uh, Rick, can we go to uh, Ghana, please? Uh, yeah, there was one question about the coils on the helmet. I don't know if it's too late there, but uh, regarding the wires in it, were they copper or zinc wires? There's some confusion in the uh, live no, these stream. these are all copper wires. Okay, nano-coated yeah. copper wires. No, and no, it's a standard coil. It's, it's covered with uh, CO2 GANs and zinc uh, GANs, I take it. Then we come, yeah, that's what they've done, but when we come to it, then you understand, even the coating matters how you do it, but in uh, we're coming to the point as we was explained by you, but you couldn't express it that when you stand in these machines, your desire to release yourself of the pain of the kidney will trigger only the core which is going for the kidney. This you I'll teach you in the coming time. We saw the gentleman today when he was desiring to have a, what do you call it, the, the banana, and he was, how he was feeling the taste of it. In the coming time, you come to the same point. Your desire for the kidney to receive the energy, only the kidney, you decide left or right, is the emotion which will trigger the system. But at the moment, we have to gradually graduate to this level of understanding. You don't need mm. coating. You just need to to create the emotion that this is this is where the pain is. The body knows. The system knows, and in floats it will change itself. But uh, we will come to it later. Right. Thank you. Okay. okay. We can uh, move on then to. Uh... Anna, please.